The California assault weapon ban is officially useless as of today because I've got some excellent news. Stick around to watch more. Today I got some news from Franklin Armory and the Department of Justice and it appears as if the Franklin Armory Title I is officially able to be purchased in the state of California and able to be drossed properly through the state and registered as such. This is a gun that is not an assault weapon. It is not a rifle, pistol, or shotgun. It's explicitly exempt from the assault weapon ban in the state of California. It is semi-auto, center-fire, chambered in 556 or 223. It has a 16-inch barrel, and it has regular detachable magazines. This is awesome. This has a pistol grip. You can see it in the back here. Here is one of mine that I built from a CA-11 pistol. This is absolutely incredible because this gun nullifies the effectiveness of the state assault weapon ban by having an option that gets everything that you want out of an AR without having to deal with any break top single shots, or without having to deal with any feature list, without having to deal with any bullshit. This is awesome. I need you all to share this with your friends. I need you to go to Franklin Armory's website and look it up because this is incredible. I cannot link it to you directly, but it ain't that hard to find. So let's talk about what actually happened. So if we go here, this is Franklin Armory on 319. This was yesterday at 11 a.m. They said, ladies and gentlemen, if your gun store is still open, it appears as if you can now purchase a Title I. Cheers. Thank you to everyone that put in a deposit. Thank you to everyone that watched the videos that I made. Thank you to everyone that's supporting Franklin Armory. And most importantly, thank you to Franklin Armory. This is from the DOJ now. Important notice regarding the sale of other firearms. The purpose of this is to notify and advise dealers how to submit a dealer record of sale transaction in Dross Entry System for an other firearm. The guidance from the offered in this bulletin is specific to the Franklin Armory Title I model semi-automatic centerfire firearm. So what that means is you cannot just go out and buy a stripped lower currently and build that into this as this is not in relation to this. This is just for the Title I firearms that they are selling. An other, as seen as the image above, does not meet the definition of a rifle, shotgun, pistol, or an assault weapon. Please note, since the Franklin Armory Title I is not a firearm, or is not a rifle, pistol, or shotgun, it is also not eligible to be an assault weapon pursuant to Penal Code 30515. So basically what that's saying is that the assault weapon ban is completely irrelevant to this gun, and that's awesome for me. It then lists the characteristics of it, but we all know it's a semi-auto centerfire with a pistol buffer tube. It's got a 16-inch barrel. It's got a detachable mag, pistol grip, vertical foregrip, and a flash suppressor. So that's pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. This is something that completely nullifies the assault weapon ban as it is not regulated by it. This is something that we've seen in places like Connecticut, but California now has the ability to do it for ourselves, which is absolutely awesome, and I thank Franklin Armour for doing this. You can also build one from an 80% lower if you apply for the serial number properly, and it also lists how to actually fill it out for the gun store so that they know how to actually dross this firearm properly. Franklin also wanted to say, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that council has concurred that the Title I is not restricted to the 1 in 30 day AB61. So because it is not a semi-auto centerfire rifle, it is actually not regulated by the 1 in 30 day that's going to go into effect July of next year, which is awesome. Meaning, as of July of next year, you'll still be able to buy 17 of these at a time if you really want to. I don't know why you would, but you could. So regarding pistol braces, Franklin's official stance is everyone will make their own decisions on whether or not to add something to the buffer tube. I wouldn't. I intend to wait to see if this represents a possible paradigm shift in demeanor at the department. All we want is a good referee to read the rule book. Maybe we'll have one now. Currently, there's no law that says you can't add a pistol brace to it, but it's one of those things where you got to play it safe. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your own life, but the DOJ has not ruled on this and I would not try to push it if I were you. So to those of you that want to know more or want to purchase one for yourself, want to maybe get one now, I would recommend you put in an order now because the current wait time, if you were to place an order today, is at six weeks or greater because of all this craziness going on, because they had so many because this was so popular and so many people pre-ordered one, if you have a pre-order, check your emails, keep up to date. You're going to get an email one of these days with them saying, here's how to actually complete the rest of your order and actually get it going. Some guns are going to start shipping today. Some of them are going to distributors, some to dealers, and some to the consumers. The ship dates are basically going to be based on when the upon order date and the final payment date. So it's they said that consumers should already have received instructions on how to convert their deposit to a final payment. So check your emails, check your accounts with Franklin, get it going, 
pay for it as soon as you can and you'll get your gun a little bit sooner. All in all, again, I really gotta say thank you to Franklin because they've been the ones that have been pushing this with the DOJ. People have been saying things like, oh, this has been a thing in Connecticut or other states have a similar process. Yeah, but those manufacturers aren't the ones pushing the boundaries with the DOJ. They aren't the ones threatening to sue the DOJ. They aren't the ones that actually made this happen. So to those of you that are saying, oh, but I just wanna build one for my own stripped lower, I honestly, like, yeah, that would be nice, but here's the thing. I'm willing to support Franklin Armory and actually buy one of theirs because the effort that they are putting in is incredible. This is awesome. I really think that more people need to know about these guns because this completely nullifies all of the assault weapon laws and gives us normal, functional AR-15s with regular grips and the ability to actually defend ourselves without having to use a funky fin grip. So me personally, I think a lot of people are gonna be selling off their old AR-15s and picking up a couple of these. And personally, I would recommend you doing that as well because these are fucking awesome. Because these are a game changer in the California market. And if you have any questions, you wanna talk about this, if you're planning on ordering one for yourself, let me know. And as always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace.